Man, is this not the craziest times that you that you've ever seen? Back whenever 9/11 happened, I remember we still had Food King here in Cersei. I was at work at the store, and I had a lady that worked for me. Her name was Marjorie. She was the sweetest lady. Some of you might remember her. It was early that morning. I got a phone call from Marjorie, and she said, "Hey, they crashed an airplane into the Twin Towers." And at the time. I didn't know, I mean, to me, the, tw the Twin Towers back then, and this is showing my ignorance, but the Twin Towers was David Robinson and Tim Duncan. I'm like, what do you mean they crashed an airplane into the Twin Towers? Later that day, and I watched the news, and of course, our family, my family was together. We cried. We, you know, didn't know what to do. It was a weird time and a really weird feeling, and I remember going to, had a camper in Pangburn, Arkansas, that a good friend of mine, Gene Gaither, who's passed away, I'd give anything to for him to be around still. But anyway, he, we had a camper there we was working on for our hunting club and we went up there and we were working on it and we got a call from my brother-in-law at the store and he said that, look, I need y'all to get back. We need, we need some help. We're shorthanded and we are slammed. And when we were driving back down Highway 16, all the gas stations were just lined up. I mean, it was just a really crazy time. Right now is more crazy because you know, when 9-11 happened, you, you really, it was like you, you had a physical enemy. You knew who did it. You found out who did it. And you knew if you just punished that person or eliminated that group of people or whatever, then the threat would be, you know, somewhat over. But what's so weird about this coronavirus time is <clears throat> you don't really know. It. Well, there's nothing happening. Nothing, you know, there's no, if you're not in the hospital and you're not there, it just kind of feels like you're just, it's all just kind of hearsay. And I know that's not true. Just a really, really weird time. I know that you have to do things different now, and I think we're going to be different for a long time. But I also know that it's still okay to get excited. It's still okay to get pumped about something, to get excited about a good deal or an opportunity. And we need to remember that as Americans. Remember to get excited. Opportunity's still out there. This is the land of the free. We're not going to let that change. So I know that as the United States and as a group of people, I know we can come together and overcome this. It's a lot of what we're doing here at East Park. We're, we're making the necessary changes that we need to make. We're doing things different. We're sanitizing different. We're, we're just, we're being more cautious. Um, I've made just out of habit, I've shaken a lot of hands, but you know, I've also, you know, developing some new habits with the elbow. You need a rig, you need a car truck or SUV or, you, you can know that we're going to be here. We're going to be cautious, but we're going to be here. We're going to be here to take care of you. Our service department is here to take care of you. Know that, you know, a lot of people are not excited about getting out and buying cars right now, but a lot of people, it, it's not something they do out of excitement. It's something you do out of necessity. You've got to have a vehicle, a dependable vehicle to get you. We don't live where there's public transit so that you can get around. Um, we live in a place where we you have to have a vehicle. You have to be able to drive to be able to work, to be able to get groceries, to be able to, whatever it is that you do, you have to be able to drive to do that. So if you're needing a vehicle, car, truck, or SUV, come up to East Park or go on carandtruckguide.com. My website has all of our inventory on there. Or you can come up, you can call and text me if you have a question about a vehicle. I've had a lot of phone calls, a lot of text, a lot of Facebook inbox messages this week. So if there's anything we can do, um, call, let me know. Stay safe. And here's the main thing. Find something to get excited about. You know, if you're, I haven't been quarantined. We've been at work every day. We haven't missed a beat, but I know a lot of folks are having to stay home. Find something you get excited about. Get excited. Learn how to play guitar and instrument or, or just find something to be excited about. It's okay to get excited. I get, you know, so many times some people are so, especially in the car business, Car guys are so hesitant to get excited. They just, they're afraid someone's going to make fun of them. Afraid somebody's going to catch them doing something silly. It's okay. Get, it's okay to get excited. It's okay to refresh and get pumped about business. That's okay. You know, so many people are afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to get excited. Find There's something to get excited about. Find what your something is. Get excited about it and work on it. Go to carandtruckguy.com and find you a rig too. See you guys soon.